Okay, Akumaldo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. Hi right, guys, hope you had a great weekend. This Monday, starting a new week. So we are gonna see what Bitcoin have, what Bitcoin has to tell us, right? So this was the case that I presented you guys last week. Uh, I present two cases. This was my WXY that I was hoping to to be in play, you know, because we would have a nice price here for us. It wouldn't make it, this wouldn't change. This would change the the market sentiment, and then we would have this this dump here to to put new, to put a new low here. But what seems to be happening, and I propose this as well, is this repetition of this pattern here, this those humps here. Okay, and then it's it's not going to happen this again, or are we gonna not put a new low here? Hmm. Yet to be seen, right? We need to wait for it. One thing interesting though is that what we have here is that we are testing. We we crossed the this this is the 65, 618, 65 percent resistance. Yes, and we crossed it. This is the 61865 from this whole movement here, guys. This whole movement here, I, I am retracing, using the retracement tool here. And we challenge the 50% with this B. Yeah. And hence down, we are going down. We, 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 we crossed this 61865. We, 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 we establish a new low here, which I am marking here as a... A zone of resistance okay and then we we cross the 65 618 65 percent and we are going down again okay so it, it this was not actually a, 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 a this was not a mot, um a motive impulse it was an a motive impulse wave a b c but it was a, a correction of this wave here Okay. Uh, this was a correction of this wave here. As I have been saying that it was looking at the beginning when I when I saw this first wave here. I'm gonna explain it a little bit better when we see this in a in a little detail in one hour in lower time frames. Okay. Uh, let's let's see the EMA because the EMA is telling us the same story. Yeah? We had a cross, uh, sort of a interesting cross here. The 55 EMA and the 100 EMA, the yellow one, and remember, I was said, oh, this was this is a good sign, but then we crossed again now here, you see, and then we have this huge dump. We crossed the 55 EMA is this red one here, okay? The 21 EMA is if the 21 EMA is cross this 55, then we are gonna have another cross. Then yeah, this is gonna be. This is gonna give us more confidence that we are gonna go really down, okay? We are now kind of a, yeah, we had this huge candle here, huge, 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 huge candle. We broke down, the 55 EMA is not acting as a support. So we don't have any EMA acting as a support right now, okay? It doesn't mean that it's a, it's the, the it's a definite sign that we are going down, but we need to pay attention to those indicators and see what's going to happen, right? And as I said, this six one eight six five percent here is gonna should be a, a nice resistance, a nice support. I'm sorry, but if we cross it like we did here, yes, we it's difficult to. It's gonna be difficult to argue that we have something different that we are gonna go up again. Okay, um, this is my first case for a daily chart. Okay, this is what this actually is not my my primary count any longer. Okay, my primary count is something different. Is this count here, right? I showed you guys and I posted on my Twitter that these. Yeah, this could be in play, uh, I, allowing me for showing this A, B, C, D, E for the last wave, why? Okay, it's possible, it's within the principle, 
And what I'm what I'm doing here is I am using the same thing as W for a sharp correction ABC. Then we have an X, a nice X that retraced 61%. Okay, 61, 65%. Okay. No, actually retraced way way less. 38, 20%. Yeah, well. This X here retraced more, right? So we have this W here. Inside of the, the last Y, we have the sideways correction. We have a W here, A, B, C, X, okay, a, a, a clear, not a A, B, C, a really truncated C. And then we have the last wave, Y, we would have this A, B, C, D, E. I'm proposing, okay, we might go deeper, okay? Then this, this is not the count. Okay, we might touch here, we might have 4K as the lowest low of the year, and it's okay. What I'm proposing here is a correction that is not gonna, uh, it, 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 this count is gonna hold true if we don't have a new low. Okay, if we have like a, a zigzag here, A, B, C, but we fail to put a low here, we go to like 6,000 and then we bounce, okay? And then we go to 7,500 and we go down again, but we fail to, to put a new low. And then we, this time we're gonna like 7K or something. Then we are gonna end this correction. This is what we call correction in time. Okay, and then we would have this nice contraction here. Okay, this would be a, a, a triangle, but it would be a triangle only in this part of the, starting here, the A. Okay, this would be the triangle A, B, C, D, E. I can tell you guys that this is what's happening now. I, it's just, this is just one idea, okay? This is just one idea. We need data in order to, to tell for sure what's going on. At least for now, at least what I see, the way I see it, this is pretty reasonable to... to uh, to put on the table and to consider as a, a primary count, okay, especially because I think we have an A here. Let's see the one hour chart, okay. Uh, yeah, so we need to talk about the, mm, the weekly chart first, right? Because I think that yeah, one thing that happened in the weekly chart is that we had this failed cross here, all right. This is a failed cross. Um, remember I told you guys that it was about to cross but it, it's not going to cross okay it's going down we broke the support of the 55 EMA here the red line okay this blue line here if I put it up let's see oh actually I think that this is the best right uh, oopsie it's because it's logarithmic um, Yeah, that's the best trend line, that one. Yeah, we broke the trend line, but we are, yeah, if we establish that this is the new trend line, I don't like because we don't touch it here. Yeah. This is the weekly chart again, guys. We, we don't touch it. We, tu we touch with a week here, right? A small week. Uh, okay. So, and then we have this bottom trend line here that that has been, that Bitcoin has tried to break it, but it hasn't, it, 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 we had a strong reaction after, upon touching it, okay? We now are sitting below the 55 EMA. This is the, this red line here, okay? So, and um, we have this failed here, this failed cross of the MACD, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's interesting to look at this and see that <laughs> it's interesting to see that we have this blue trend line here acting as a support. Okay, so we know that this give us this this blue line here gives gives me at least support to this idea here that we won't cross this sixth that we won't go as low as. 4k for this moment that we won't go 
that we wouldn't that we won't put a new a new lower uh, a lower price here. If you look at the weekly chart, I, I don't think we are gonna try to break this blue line again. Okay. But I might be wrong. It's okay. Yeah. The 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 100 EMA is also going to offer some kind of support in the in the next weeks. If we try to break this blue line and go below it, you know, 5700 is gonna be the a bit a bit higher. I think 6000 6000 is gonna be the 61 6100. Yes, it's gonna be like the the bottom for it. If this holds, of course, it can break this structure here and go lower. Okay, let's take a look at the weekly. The I'm sorry, the daily chart now. Okay, this is the chart that I'm proposing. The count that I really now I'm happy with this count here because if you have watched my other videos, I was really unhappy to count this as a one, two, three, because this was looking for me as a corrective structure. And it is a corrective structure indeed. It's an ABC. Okay, perfect ABC. And now we are going down for another ABC. Go in here and see this. Okay, ABC. This is exactly what's happening here. ABC. ABC. For this B here of a proposed B. Okay, proposed B. If we if we all if you allow me to consider this count, this is the proposed B, and this is what we have here. We finish the B wave here. Now we are finishing this wave, this the first wave here. The, the this motive impulse wave here would be our A. Then we would have the reaction here for our B, and then a C. C can uh, challenge this low here. As I said, well, it's impossible to be 100% sure. But I'm proposing a C that's not gonna challenge this low. That's not gonna put a new low. So this C here is gonna be shallow. Okay, it's gonna be not shallow relative to the movement, but it's not gonna establish a new low. Okay. And what we have here now is that let me zoom this thing. Yeah. We'll have, well, we we tr we touch the resistance here, the six one eight six five, and we are going down. Okay. We try to to break it failed it it was the last wave c like i said corrective structure and then we are going down this resistance this support here that we have now if it holds it and we have like a some sort of bounce then i would need to reconsider my count but i don't think it's gonna hold i think it's gonna it's it, it, we have a lot of signs that's gonna is not gonna hold okay this is my count my if you look at the 30 minutes, oh, we are at the 30 minutes, sorry, <laughs> I said one hour short. So this is, we are finishing this, this wave three here. Okay, we have a nice confluence here. Uh, this is the 618, the projection of the two, this two here, two, three, four. And then we have this target here for our fifth wave here, this fifth, last fifth wave here of this degree here, this degree here, and then the third wave we would have finished it. Okay, so we are now in this, we finished the fourth wave of this degree here that is the, the sub-micro. Okay, then we have this micro wave here going down, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it had to be confirmed. I'm, I'm not, and we have this algo target here of minus 33, 60 percent. And so we have this nice confluence here. Okay. Then um, we nail it, right? The 33, 20 percent for this wave four here. Yeah, we touched it really nice and react to it. I short this time here. This was a this I I closed the position. I took my profit around here, but it's nice was a nice opportunity. I saw this expanded ABC here. This expanded a flat for a four. Then I see that the C would go lower. I imagine that the, I'm sorry, after uh, touching this 3820, I start leathering my shorts. That was clear for me. Okay, so then we have this three here. What might happen here is that we 
put Neo at. Uh, well, I think we should go lower here. Yeah, I think no. Let's let's use the 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 the, the fib extension here. Yes, actually, it's a nice spot for our rave tree. Look, guys exactly where we think that it should be yeah, it's the sweet spot here for our wave tree so perhaps we start retracing now that's this is the retracement that's happening see hmm nice we touched the the sweet spot for our wave tree we touched it we already touched it so we now probably if we don't go lower we are going to start we're going to see some reaction we are we are now looking at, uh, at some reactions, so probably next target for Bitcoin, it's going to be, let's see, oh, let me, it's down here, the retracement for our, from two to three here, this is going to be, oh, we are exactly now touching the 38, 20%, perhaps we go to the 50%, we go to 7k, and then we go down again, okay, I am assuming that we're gonna have a sideways or a, a, a rather sideways correction for four according to alternate rules because we had a sharp two but let's see okay, it's too soon and too much of a lower degree to really count on those kind of alternations and everything but I think 50% here it would, it wouldn't be reasonable 7k okay and then we would go down perhaps perhaps touch this 23.6% or not touching it at all because this is a 7500 and I think that a strong resistance is going to be 68 right right here so I would be conservative about those targets here right if you're going to buy to I don't know leather or start leathering some buys I would start leathering at this a bit low a bit higher like this minus 3 Minus 23, 60 percent. I will start lettering at here 7800, 7870. Okay, uh, then of course, uh, this this needs to, to bounce and go up, yes, and go up and get to this resistance here. I think, yes, this is this is what I'm proposing. We are gonna have this wave four here, and then we would finish this wave five that's what i'm proposing so if you buy here if you have a long here this is my short okay this is my short then i'm proposing if you sell it here at the f at this fourth wave of this uh blue degree here for our wave a if you short here this is gonna be my stop loss here of course in green here 7500 if you go up and our rave 4 wouldn't shouldn't go that high so that's why i'm proposing that we are gonna stop at this resistance this resistance uh, is the 38 20 percent here and it's a previous wave 4 again i'm using that rule of of uh of elliot wave that uh a wave 4 of a higher of a of a higher degree is always going to not always but it's a guideline that a wave 4 of a higher degree tends to go to the region of a lower degree wave four that's what i'm doing here okay the end we have a confluence here 38 20 percent the resistance okay so i am i am assuming that this is going to bounce to this region here seven three hundred perhaps 70 almost touching 70 seven four 70 70 four hundred perhaps okay but this is for the short if you want to to long it okay this is for scalpers or swing traders okay not for if you want to be conservative you don't need to do that okay if you want to be like if you, if you want to catch the high the the big swings just wait for for this movement here yeah? to confirm it to wait for this movement when it bounces and then you short it yeah because you are going to to be trading uh, following the trend why because if you trend buying it here you're trading against the trend we decided right that we are going down this is the trend this was a correction of this trend the trend is down okay guys 
So, um, we have, I think we have plenty of opportunities to, to make money. Uh, that, that's that's what, is, what is nice. Um, uh, one other uh, one other thing. Uh, uh, what about my stop loss here? If I'm go if I go long here, I want uh, I wouldn't put a stop loss here, guys, because it's really clear. If it goes lower, I would add to my buy because this must. It's uh, of course we have a lot of room to go down. We might. Uh, but I wouldn't put a, a stop loss if I play this long here. I would just ladder, okay? Would ladder my buys and would, I would catch the, and then I would short it here. But uh, again, this is not as conservative as I like to trade. I prefer to go and trade uh, following the, the, the trend. So I would wait for this, for this bounce here. It's playing safe, guys. Playing safe. Okay. Um, I'm not talking a lot about indicators here as well because I like to keep myself with with the Elliott waves, with resistance, train lines, and I'm gonna show you guys indicators and I'm gonna talk about indicators when it's really like t screaming something, okay? Um, so we need to finish this wave five and we need to wait now, okay? We need to. This is my opportunity for you guys. Wave four here, this blue degree here. Short it here, okay? 7400, it's the, the max, I think. And then I have my stop loss here at the 75. 76, okay, if you want to put it a bit higher. It's a nice risk reward ratio, okay? I think we might go even lower than, this is 7300, perhaps a, a bit lower, but, Nevertheless, it is a conservative target, okay? Um, I would like to be really, I would like to talk about EOS really fast because I, I, I play this, this, this coin a lot on uh, Bitfinex, yeah? I, I love this coin. A lot of vol volatility and we, we have this, I present this, this is my play. Okay, it's a really nice risk reward. We have a lot of uh, divergence, right? We have all three indicators showing us that there is no room, there is no no room left to go down. Okay, if it goes down, I'm not saying that it's not gonna go down because I have here my stop loss. I have my stop loss here. When we break this fifth wave here, if we break here, it's not gonna be a one two. That's simple, easy. It's the, the the easiest setup ever. <laughs> if you if you buy it here and I bought it here, I, I was buying. If you if you if you follow me on Twitter, I proposed that I would buy until here or even lower. But if we, if I get to this low here, to this seven to seven bucks and fifty three, yeah, I need to stop loss then. But I see a lot of aversions, so I, I think it's a nice opportunity. Okay, it's gonna bounce harder than Bitcoin. Okay, if this is a true, it's difficult to, uh, to sustain that this, this is a true, but the outs don't have a lot of room to go down. They are all bottom, they, all, they, they have all bottomed. It's really difficult if you, follow the, the the eos for instance in all the other altcoins okay they are really um go, they, they are at, at uh historical resistance right if you look here this is the place that we would go next right that it was the lowest low of it this is the lowest low of the year isn't it yes this was march three dollars and we have this cluster here that would be our next resistance. Huh? I'm sorry, let me draw it correctly. Here, right? Yeah, but we are sort of there now, right? This cluster here, then we would have this other really strong and significant cluster down here. You see? 
if we go down, if we break this low here, this is the region that we're gonna land below six bucks, right? Yeah, as I said, we need to, uh, without risk, we don't have a reward and we need to react to the market. If I stop loss here, I'm gonna let it, let it go and I'm gonna continue playing Bitcoin and, uh, and another, and I, perhaps I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna switch here, sw switch gears here, and I'm gonna short EOS. I'm gonna wait for some kind of uh, bounce, and I'm gonna start shorting it. But the indicators is telling us a different story. I don't I don't know. It's difficult to say to to see EOS going down here. Okay, um, guys, that's it for today. I think we are always <clears throat> having a nice time together. If you have uh, any sort of feedback, criticism, yes, I am open to criticism, <laughs> but you need to present data, okay? You need to present data and not throw numbers out of thin air and, and say, hey, Bitcoin is gonna hit 4K tomorrow, okay? I can, I can say you the same. But I'm proposing here a technical analysis. I'm using a framework. Yeah, Elliott Waves. The Elliott Wave principles. I show you guys what I'm doing. If I'm wrong, okay, I'm okay to be wrong. But it's not a problem. Actually, I'm not looking to be right. I'm looking to be consistent, to apply my, my, my principle, not my principle, but to apply the principle and being consistent and provide a good analysis. So, if you like it, <laughs> so you click like there and subscribe and join me on, on my social media. You have my Twitter there, my Twitch TV. Sometimes I'm going to be doing a stream and that's it. Thank you very much, guys. See you guys next time. Bye. Cheers.